What is going on, friends? Hips are punchy. I'm back for 2021. Uh, I figured 2020 was such a poo show that I figured I'd push videos back until 2021. Convenient excuse. All right, so I am going to be making more videos. This is the first one of the year. I figured I would actually um, respond to a video that I was kind of tagged in by another YouTuber named Kaiju Kim. Uh, she's actually a classmate of mine, and both in the previous school I was in and the one that I am transferring to now. Good friend of mine, great editor. Uh, she is like actually growing pretty quickly in the kaiju community. I think her channel has been around for maybe half a year, and it's actually been going up steadily in numbers. She puts out a lot of content and a variety of types of content. It's uh, not like here where I'm just sitting here waxing, waxing poetic. She has a lot of fun stuff. She also has quite a bit of uh, stuff that she does that is more on the uh, funny and fun side, lighter side. So uh, she's definitely worth checking out, especially if you are in the kaiju community and a big Godzilla fan. Uh, that's actually the first movies we talked about as friends uh, to, because we're both big fans of that. As you know, for those of you who've been following my channel for a while, uh, I've actually made quite a few videos on the box set and going to do another one. I, I'm still going to do the series in the Birdman box that I haven't started that yet. I still want to finish up the series on the uh, Costa Gavras films. I may even wind up um, redoing the one for Z because I'm actually not happy with how the final edit for that came out. Uh, so you might be seeing Z remastered, uh, so to speak. But for this video, uh, I, like I said, it's kind of responding to a video she made. It is. She tagged me to do it, and I promised I would, and I figure I'm, I'm going to start 2021 uh, with fulfilling some of my promises that I made both on the channel or about the channel. So this is one of those, and uh, this is actually five questions for fans of the kaiju films. Um, now, again, I'm going to link her video below as well. Uh, comment if you guys have answers to these questions. I'm supposed to tag five other YouTubers to do it. Honestly, I'm not as ingrained in the just kaiju specific area, but I'm probably going to wind up uh, tagging a few YouTubers in the film community or in general to answer these questions too. So let's start this. Question number one, which kaiju film do you wish you could have directed? So um, I'm going to actually pick one of the more, uh, let's say one of the more divisive films in the Showa era of Godzilla films, that's going to be Godzilla versus Hidra. I do love the message for it. It's actually a message that rings true today. Um, I do think that uh, that would be the one that I would want to do, uh, both as a kaiju film and as a commentary on um, the environment. I feel that goes well with the uh, original film, which was a commentary on the destructive forces of uh, atomic weaponry. And this is more a commentary on the destructive force of pollution uh, on there. So I would love to kind of sink my teeth into that video. Um, the runner up for that one, I would say Invasion of the Astro Monster would be my runner up on that one. Uh, that's my personal favorite, but uh, definitely Godzilla versus Hedera, I think I could do really well with a story on there, assuming that I'm writer director on that one. So. Uh, that one, if like someone were to be like, you know, someone from Legendary Pictures, for example, like, hey, um, yeah, so we want to do one, pick one of the old stories, here's your money, make the movie, it would be Godzilla versus Hedera. Next question, which non-Godzilla kaiju would you center a film series around? And honestly, the land, now I want to explain because this is a well-known one, but I have a reason for mentioning this. Uh, the one that I would do Around, like center a film universe around. And again, assuming this is a remake series, we're starting from scratch with uh, kind of like the legendary Godzilla series, uh, the you know the newer film, the newer US films. Uh, Gamera, I like to see, I, I don't think there was actually a US remake of Gamera anyway. Like if I were given the ability by some film studio who saw the money made from the Godzilla movies so far, and they were like, hey, pick one again, some hypothetical big wigs, so to speak. Uh, definitely camera. I think that could be a fun one. Uh, I, that's, by the way, on my shopping list, the box sets to get are the Arrow uh, camera sets. But I think that would be a fun one to do. Um, and I'm mainly saying that because that's the only one I can think of that's not in the Godzilla lexicon. 
uh, that I would do a film on because obviously I would want to do like a, a like a standard standalone Mothra film. I think that would be fun, like making a period piece maybe. But since we're outside of the Godzilla series of monsters, I'm going to go with Gamera here. The next question is, what's your favorite obscure kaiju? This is a tough one for me because I feel like we're getting a bit of a kaiju revival in general. Uh, like the Gargantua's films are starting to make their way here in a bigger fashion than they used to. Um, then there's some, like, for example, there's the original Japanese version of King Kong, which was made in the 30s and without permission of RKO, uh, the King of Kongu films, the problem with those ones. And uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say that one because I like the design and it's not a direct ripoff of King Kong. It is, but it's not because it actually involves some Japanese folklore. The problem with those films are, though, is they're lost. One, there was a sequel that was lost during World War II, and the original one, I think only a still frame exists of it. So uh, I, aside from that one, I am, um, and this is for probably, I don't know, maybe the trolliest of reasons. Um, actually, I'll mention the trolley one, but that's not the one. I just remembered Gappa was a thing. Gappa is such a concept that's so bat crap crazy uh, that, that that has to be the one. So that's definitely going to be the one I'm going to go with here. I do want to give an honorable mention here, and I want that one to be Paul Gasari, which is the weird North Korean ripoff of the Godzilla films. Like, Kim, for those who don't know, Kim Jong-un was a huge fan of films and had a history of literally abducting people in the South Korean film industry to make his movies. And he made a weird semi propaganda -ish, ish like, kaiju movie called Paul Gasari that is insane and you can find it on YouTube. No one has the film rights here for it. So it's technically public domain here because North Korea is that isolated from everything else that someone basically had to bootleg it and put it on YouTube. So uh, Pogasari is definitely a good honorable mention, a very trollish one considering the story and where it came from, but that's definitely one you can look at too. If I wanna, okay, let's see here. Next question. If you want a trip to Monster Island, what would you pack? Food, I guess, you know, a camera with lots of lenses. Uh, you're pro I mean, you could probably get away with any lenses. A lot of the monsters are huge there, uh, but you might want to go with a telephoto lens because that one's going to need, if you want to get close-up shots, you're going to have to do it from far away. Like, I don't mean one of those like NFL game telephoto lenses, but one that you can take a safe picture of Godzilla's grill from afar, which is totally not something I've thought of. Um, I would also uh, probably say bring a wide lens just so you can get the landscape shot of Monster Island. Like it's your one shot. You got you got to document this in a way that is just going to be breathtaking for the Instagram or the well, no one uses Facebook for the Instagram uh, and for the TikTok for the Gen Zers out there. Uh, so I would definitely that um, like bug spray. Although I feel like a lot of the bugs there are big enough to just eat me whole, so. I don't know how effective that would be. Like they would get issues after eating me and after my inevitable design demise. Uh, but I would still want to have the bug spray handy just to be on the safe side. Last question, least favorite Godzilla suit. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna have to go with Son of Godzilla. Like, listen, I get that. And I wanna preface this by saying I'm not counting anything that was made completely CGI because it's not a suit. And on the same hand, I'm not including animated versions because it's not a suit. Uh, so uh, Son of Godzilla, definitely. I mean, there some of the earlier Godzilla costumes were a little rough. It, it was, you know, just it looked intentionally cheesy. But I feel like that's the charm of Japanese films, uh, both their computer effects now and their suit effects later, is that there's that little bit of cheese. But I feel like the Son of Godzilla Godzilla suit looks like it was drawn by um, some kid who wanted to draw like Godzilla having a tea party with them, even though Godzilla probably would eat the cup and not do the tea party and destroy the whole town. But like the kid decided I'm going to draw Godzilla having a dinner party or a tea party with me for some reason, because it's Godzilla who wouldn't want to. But still, uh, then that would just be the loss of your town, I guess. Uh, but I think... But I do think that was the um, that that was definitely the bat, the worst Godzilla costume. Um, yeah, I, we'll, we'll go with Son of Godzilla. There were a couple bad ones, but 
some of the ones that look rough in hindsight look rough in hindsight. And one, even the ones that look uh, rough other than the Son of Godzilla one are campy bad, and that kind of gives them a whole new charm. So I would feel guilty putting them in the worst category. So with that, again, thank you guys. Let's kick this year off well. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, and Letterbox, which I, I'm going to update. I'm updating it today. I'm not editing this before I do so. That way you guys can see what I've seen lately because there's probably been a lot since the last time I've updated it. Uh, with that, have a great rest of the year. Yeah.